Back, back, back in the building, baby. We back, baby. Smoking sports. You feel me? You know how we do. We going to get off into a little local, but ain't too much local. Just want to let y'all know them brackets come out Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Playoffs next week, so uh, it's going down, baby. Playoffs next week. Bro. Going down. I'm off next week, baby. Yeah. You dig? And oh, uh, some out with the local. D. LaSalle got denied today with the appeal with the with the forfeits of the games, but, you know, they're in the select, so they still go to the playoffs and everything, so they'll be all right, but they got denied today. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, that Park Bar playoffs starting, too, this week. Yeah, we're going to touch in on some yeah. of that, too, man. I touch in on some of that. I know uh, 1008 TV have probably got everything you need. Right, shout with out the to Park 1008, Bar. 1008 TV. 1008 TV, shout out to them boys, shout man. Shout out to 1008. <laughs> they doing a good job with uh, marketing and promoting them youngsters over there. You know, we be trying to touch in on it, but they full fledged with them youngsters, man. Banquets and all. And John Curtis has officially signed up for the next uh, two seasons at least. They'll be on five eight. They announced today. They resigned. I wanna see. Holy Cross chose to stay. Shaw left. Shaw gone down to Foy. And uh, Booker T. Washington has to move up. Booker T. move up. Yeah, they in Rome. Should be getting they big. They in Rome again, big in their new school and shit. They, they up there. They Foy next year. And I think 3-5 have to go back on Foy. Because you know 3-5 played down the last two years. 3-8. Right, but they ain't had an enrollment. I want to say Joe last year. When Joe left, they went 3 A. Yeah, see, they only had ninth graders and shit. Yeah, they, didn't they have, started over. They didn't have ninth grade. I know one of them years they didn't have ninth grade. It was 10, 11, and 12. I know for sure within these last two years, three years, one of these years they didn't even have a freshman class. Yeah, it was something like some shit going on like that. They started over and got them all out and started a new class or some shit like you know. Yeah, out of line. I heard that they was trying to redo it and try to have them on the same type of time as uh, Carl and uh, Lusha. But I heard that they was trying to take it over like a Lusha, like like what Lusha did for shit. That's what was going on at three five. But I think. The alumni and stuff came around and stepped in it and stopped it, but they was actually trying to take the school. Mm. Yeah. Not Chit-chat. too much local stuff to talk about this yeah, week. Yeah, man, your playoffs. boy um, Aaron Anson <laughs> committed to Bama, bro, as soon as it, uh, since uh, LSU coach said he leaving. See what I'm saying, Lil B? When I had talked about it the first time, Kenneth brother came out that he was laughing when I said, "I think we gonna lose him." That's cool. I knew, he, I knew, I knew where he was going to be, bro. But it's all good, bro. He, it, 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 you know, the the best fit for him. You know what I'm saying? Best fit for him, at, you know, to keep it real, I'm an LSU fan, brother. But I'm also a fan of Aaron Anderson. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to see him in Baton Rouge right now. Not right now. With what's going on. Don't know what coach coming in, you know, quarterback situation fucked up in Baton Rouge. You know what I'm saying? Like, he wasn't supposed to go there, to be real. To me. Looking at what's I going on. I feel you. Bama got a better, you know, they got Bama, what, Bama's a better good fit rookie quarterback, freshman to quarterback. De- to develop him right now. Bama yeah. is better fit. You know, LSU, you know they're going to be all right as far as. At least and players and shit, and but Alabama you, got a better, you know. I'm calling it right, right now. now. I'm about to tell you exactly how they gonna use little man. He, re- I could tell you all the Bama players he remind me of: Henry Ruggs, Waddle, Kenyon Drake. Uh, you know the little ones he be having that he use as like his weapons. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Even though he had a Amari Coopers. Now, remember, Ruggs, Wilder, them dude, Kenyon Drake, they was cold. But they was like third man down the line. Yeah, but yeah. they were special. But 
You, yeah, you get what I'm saying? Calvin Ridley's and the who and the you? Devontae Smiths. They, yeah. you know, they wasn't that, but they still was first round I picks. A lot of Devontae Smith kind of different. He probably could be a Devontae Smith role, just oh. you don't see it like that, dude. Yeah, just, just Devontae, Devontae Smith, Smith really and developed shit. himself into the, being the number one receiver. He actually, he actually outdid. Hold up. Who had the who had the uh it was one of them fucked it up at Bama. It was Amari Cooper. Cooper was the one came, tore this bitch up. Uh, yeah, Julio kind of broke. It, it was uh, Julio, but then Cooper just came, shattered the shit. Cooper just came, fucked it up. I thought it was Ridley, but no. It's Cooper. It was Cooper yeah, coming. Cool. And Devontae Smith just come shit on all this shit. So Devontae Smith just come punish everything. You ain't peep that? Shit, shit. Yeah, Devontae Smith just came. I don't see Aaron Anderson being Devontae Smith as cold as I think he is. Like I said, I think he Henry Ruggs, Jalen Jer- Waddle. You know. That's a better, you know, comparison. Five catches this game, 150. You know what I mean? Three catches, 156 yards. That's how he coming. Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? Shit like that. Three catches. 120, two touchdowns. He coming like that every game. You know, I don't think he going to be coming like Devontae Smith, 10 catches. Woo, 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 woo. Uh-uh, that ain't his game. He big. When he touch it, it's matter. It's, it, you know what I'm saying? It's going to matter when he touch it. But, yeah, bro, that's good. I'm I'm, I'm happy for that ever, man. He chose. He made his own decision. No hard, feel, no hard feelings over here. I feel like he done with what was best for him, bro. Hell yeah. I just, you know, only bad thing, fuck, we gotta see that we gotta see that boy three years. <laughs> oh yeah, we gotta we gotta we gotta be for them once a year. Yeah, we gotta see him three years straight, bro. You feel me? But um Yeah, man. Bryce said they get a shoot for Alabama this weekend. Yeah, blowout. He probably gonna go to the game. See Bama giving them people twenty eight points. And Baton Rouge, brother. In Baton Rouge. It's in BR, right? I think it's in Alabama, but I don't remember. I can't. I ain't sure. But um, but yeah, man. It is in Bama. Cause yeah. Barrow and them beat them out there. They came back and beat us last year down here. We go out there. Yeah, we go to Bama. Motherfucking man, we got some shit, man. At the Saints game, bro. Saints and Tampa game, man. That bitch went down, bro. <laughs> That bitch went down, but I had to go see the gold man, see time. My first time checking time out. Saints played a hell of a game, bro. Saints played I a hell called, of a game Thursday, bro. I called bro. it on the motherfucking show, bro. I, I, I liked the Saints. One thing before we get to the Saints, bro, tonight. What's up with the Jets as an organization, bro? What fucking direction they trying to go in, brother? What you mean? They fucked up. I mean, where, where that come from? Just seem like, you know, I'm just just look at the Jets since fucking. Um, I'm sad. Where they the can't Jets get, come from? They can't get right tonight. Thursday night football. That what made me think of Thursday night football. Oh, yeah, but we know what happened. The quarterback got hurt. They suck. The quarterback got hurt though. He got hurt, but he ain't even the quarterback. Well, I mean, but they was looking forward to this man. He just won a game for him. He drew for 400 yards, you know. Second player to ever do that in his first start. Yeah. So, to be honest, this game was on the up and up for the Jets, and the man got hurt in the first quarter. Fuck the Jets just like 20 other teams in this fucking league. Can't do shit. Shit, no. Can't get to the offs. Rather get that, can't do nothing. Shit, no, I know the worst um, team at all the sports is the Detroit Lions in every sport, period, around the world. They ain't won a playoff game since 1966, brother. Yeah. That's the worst in all sports, period. Pull it up right now. They ain't won a playoff game since 1966, brother. 66. Not 86, not 96. Not even 76. Yeah, but you know, I'm just saying that Jets, which is, if 
feel like the Jets. I feel like where the Jets at, the Jets don't supposed to be sad how they been. The market and shit they in. What the fuck going on up there? Like, they ain't been good since fucking Boss Scott and them had that little defense that time. And they couldn't get over the hump with Brady. Uh, they <coughs> either was getting their ass knocked <coughs> off by Brady or uh, Manning. Al uh, Rochleyberger. That's how they was doing. They, they, was, they was running into the three-headed monster. That's where I brought on to, man. You got to have you a fucking quarterback. You got to have one. See, you no. Know, the people who. Because let's go throughout the years. They got teams. You got to have a quarterback, man. But they got teams that sneak in there without one. Well, they, they get in there too. What you mean? No, I'm talking about who done snuck in one bulls. No. Yeah, brother. No, I mean, that's rare. What, 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 what team won a bull without a quarterback? Left? Philly. Philly showed you. You could go. They didn't, win it without a, they didn't win it without a quarterback. Who? Fucking Nick Foles? What you mean? The nigga played his ass yeah, off. Yeah, he played his ass off. But, but coming into that, that it's not, he wasn't a quarterback. No, you get what I'm saying? No. Coming in, Nick Foles is the that's definition the, uh, of you don't need this yeah nigga to win it. Trent Dilford in them is. I know fucking Nick no, Foles. No, Trent Dilford when you had the greatest defense of all time. Fucking yeah. right, you can win it. That's I'm what I'm saying. About, that's the definition of not having a quarterback. Philly yeah. had a quarterback that. You know, really wasn't good. Backup quarterback, right? He's proven. He's proven that he ain't good. What the fuck he did? All he did was go on a five game run that we gonna remember remember for the rest of our fucking life. He ain't do nothing. He fucking garbage. He won the oh, five. Bro, he won the up. five perfect games. See, Philly, man, this, that this, fucking this, man, this way, garbage. This, this way, you just don't even sound. How? Oh, Nick Foles. What you is mean? The quarterback garbage. came and played quarterback just as good as anybody in the league. You talking about? A team where they ain't had a... How you going to see the man in the quarterback? Nick the Foles man did is the testament thing. of all you need is a fucking defense and a fucking role-playing quarterback to get hot at the fucking right time and you can win the Super Bowl. You don't need Drew Brees, Evan Rodgers, Ben Rosenberger, Patrick Mahomes. You Why don't you necessarily don't? need that to win when the When Nick Super Bowl. Foles was playing like the people you saying. No, he wasn't, bro. How? What the fuck you mean? No, he wasn't. The man went clean off. Yeah, he went off well, for that's a few the whole games. Point. The whole point is the man played like a bro, paid what man. what I'm saying is you saying... That's why you need these special quarterbacks. Yeah, no, nigga. Ain't nothing special if Nick about Foles him. Wasn't, how? He's not special. The he man just a, went won a well, Super Bowl for you. What the fuck he you. did after that? What he did? What, what I'm saying is Nick Foles is fucking garbage. He won a few games and they got lucky and won the Super Bowl. Nick Foles, you can't put special nowhere around his name. He you, shits. You don't get it. You got to comprehend, my nigga. He if, got to. If if fucking Boo Boo the Fool go out there and start that quarterback and he play like Peyton Manning, fuck what you thought about a nigga. Because you thought he said. He just bust your ass. Right. Five games in a row. Exactly. Ex now That's listen to I'm me. Hold you, up. You no, time name. out. What you mean? It ain't about no fucking name. It's about the play. And who gives you the play? The names, nigga. Nick Foles wasn't no garbage quarterback. He just came and played, exceeded his expectations. Because you thinking the nigga ain't that good. Nick Foles could have ended up in the right situation and been a stunt quarterback nigga for 15 years. Nigga tried to put him in the right situation. What you mean? He, and he did good. Right. I, don't, I don't remember how, Nick how, Foles how, failing listen, like that. How good are you when you just come on the Super Bowl for me and the very next year I come tell you, sit your fucking ass down right here next to me. What you mean? Well, you ain't that fucking good. So I got to explain that to you? You ain't that good. How? What, what, what? When we just gave this man money, the quarterback in French. I don't give a fuck how much money we gave you. You just won the bowl for us. If you was that good... Bill Belichick, they just gave Drew Bledsoe the highest paid player in NFL history. They made Drew Bledsoe. They never went back to him. The man was hurt. His career was over. No, man. That man came back and did good after that with another team. Started and shit. Played like two more years in the league. That man was I'm ready saying, to play. You, you talking they didn't about go back to him. a nigga where his career could have been over, though. Fuck no, Yeah, man. Drew Bressel was on his way out. That's what I'm saying. Fuck no. Drew Bressel just signed the highest contract in NFL history coming into that year. $110 million. He got the first listen, $100 million contract listen, in NFL he history. He still was on his way out, dude. No, he just How? He just got signed. He was in his prime when he got hurt. Bressel was in his prime, brother. When See, he, bro, no. no yeah, Bless, bro. You know what I'm saying? Bressel was playing at a prime time when he got hurt. But he was in the league already X amount of years. You done got a, a fucking career type of ending, ending injury. How we know you're going to come back right and you on your way out? Yeah, this is your last contract for them. You know, that's what right. I'm saying. 
So what you mean? It's a no, different situation. No, that was his last contract. This was it could have been. It was his time getting the big money. It was it was his contract year. No man, that shit was different back then, man. With all he that shit, he got the hundred million. He was the first one, so he got the big money. That's what I'm saying, dog. You talking about you talking about a name like it's a name got to be in, in coming when the Super Bowl. It's not about the name when you come and play like a nigga with a name. That means you needed a quarterback. That's what I'm saying. How you going to knock the man from playing like Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, just because of his name? Fuck his name. Put a different name back on the jersey. Then. The nigga just went clean off. So that's what you need, a nigga who going to go clean off. You need somebody who going to do this shit. Nick Foles showed you he could do it. Mm-hmm. Carson Wentz just got his money first contract. That's a hard decision. Are we going to keep the nigga who, who did his thing right here at the end, an older cat? With a young nigga we just gave the money who was looking good, undefeated when he left? No, we're going to try to keep our fucking superstar. I think that's an easier decision than Green Bay, than, than Belichick and them had to make. What? How? Because let me tell you why. We, we go from all world Drew Bledsoe, right, to the fucking second to last pick in the NFL draft, a fucking seven round draft pick. That nobody fucking knows about, and we went with this nigga, dog. Just we, the thing, D. We went with him, bro. You couldn't, he couldn't play the next so year, So you D. automatically thinking. He couldn't play the next year. Who? Drew Bledsoe. How? Somebody else had to play. What you mean, how? The nigga towards his, whatever the fuck he did. You can't play next year, so we got to play time anyway. Man, no, they showed him come back, and dude was ready. Dude went with Bill. This is facts. He went with Bill. He didn't, I mean, he went with fucking Tom. He didn't give dude a chance to get the job back, brother, B- which Belichick was right. He saw what he saw, but I'm just saying. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. That very next year. They set Drew Blesser down. Still, Drew Blesser wasn't still on the roster? Yeah, the next year. But he couldn't play in the beginning. Like, he no, couldn't man, play. He suited up and everything, brother. He's the first the game. He's clipboard. Suited up. The yeah. first game. He suited up the next year, dog. They went to training camp and everything together. I brother. don't think so. Yeah, brother. He suited up the next year. Brady beat him out for the job. The rest history. That's what I'm saying. Drew Blesser, how he got hurt? I thought he, if I'm from around him, I think he fucked himself up. No, in the game. He got hurt in the game. You know what I'm saying he got hurt, nigga, bad. He, he it was like the same thing Tom got. Tom, nigga, nigga forgot Tom tore his leg up in Mister Year. That's exactly. And came dude. back. They ain't go with Matt Castle. This what I'm saying. You see what I'm saying? This what I'm saying. D. The man on his way out. You couldn't play next year anyway. Tom had to play the next year. So that gave Tom his year to play. Beat you out, you on your way out. Fuck that contract you got two years before that. You still in your 12, 13 year, whatever the fuck it is. What you mean? That's easier. Yeah, it's easier to go with time. I wonder what year Bledsoe was in when he got hurt. Yeah, he I don't think it. it's year nine or nothing. I don't think he was in the league that long when he got hurt. I'm thinking he was in his prime. I'm thinking year five or something. Man, fuck no, man. Oh, indeed, man. Nick Foles. Nick Foles just had some bad. I ain't gonna say just like bad situations, but shit where it's like, fuck, we had to move on. We had to move on. You know, him and Ryan Fitzpatrick. Just go to similar. Show you. Now, I could give you a prime example. Even though, you know, niggas could say what they want. Woo, 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 woo. They wasn't supposed to be that. The passive interference called woo, 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 woo. Jared Goff was just in the Super Bowl. Now, nah, mind you, to me, if they if they don't play New England, they win the bowl. The lowest scoring Super Bowl, they say the boring Super Bowl in the NFL history. What the fucking score was, 12 9 or something? Nobody scored a touchdown. The man won a million dollars off $50. He bet $50 that not a touchdown gets scored in the game. That's some stupid shit. Mm-hmm. And he won. That was that bit. Was, I'm saying, the Rams would have beat anybody but New England that year. Without a guy, without a real true guy, we could call on, go win us the game. But look what you said, D. He could have. He ain't win shit. He got that though to the bowl. What brother. the fuck? He got that though. I'm saying you ain't getting no. I'm talking about the Jets. They ain't doing nothing. We, the conversation was the Jets and their quarterbacks and shit. 
You saying they got to, you know, get a guy. I feel like they don't have to get a superstar, brother. They got to get the acting guy. Remember, you. they was getting you. to the NFC Championship when they was the shit. They was getting that with Mark Sanchez. This is why I mentioned they need a, need a guy because this is why they borderline out the playoffs most of the time, barely getting there. You know why the division was a division with a, a guy. With the guy. <laughs> you with feel the me? Guy. The AFC had some guys. Yeah. And you ain't gonna beat them dudes if you ain't on if you ain't got that fucking Bart Scott Darrell Reeves defense and shit. With like, a little I'm bit of offense, to go down, you need a uh, fucking down, down quarterback. The line, uh, all the teams that made it to the Super Bowl are won it with a all right quarterback. Fuck making it there, like, making it there ain't enough. Making it there is a lot. It you brought lot. revenue to the team. You you it, fucking it right, y'all make, making the, the Super Bowl is something. Not that's not the goal, second place, but making the fucking Super Bowl is saying something, brother. That's saying something. Making the bowl. Fucking right, that's saying something. Yeah, you talking? You just talking in general. I'm talking no. about quarterbacks and shit. Quarterbacks, yeah. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. A defense could get you there. I mean, I gotta, I gotta explain all this shit. Getting to the, getting to the ball and shit. Rex Grossman got there too. Yeah, he lost to Peyton Manning. What the fuck? You need me to give you more examples? You want me to give you more? Yeah, but you what not- you mean? He lost to fucking Peyton Manning. A guy. And she wasn't right. saying it. And Tom Brady lost to Nick Foles. Nick not, Foles is a guy. A fuck no. How? You cannot call Nick Foles a guy. Why? This is why you can't. He won a few fucking games. That's why he ain't a guy. This, he won a man. few games. You can't call a nigga a guy that won a few fucking, fucking games, brother. It's not about the name when I bust your ass, nigga. Fuck my name. I did, you didn't bust my How, ass. How, nigga? I went off. It was 40 something apiece. We scored 40-something well, what the first. fuck? I had to score 40-something on you. You ain't bust our ass, though. You ain't bust How? Our we ass. bust your defense I'm ass. Saying, you could never be labeled a guy. You're not a guy. If bro. I played like a guy, that's that's what I'm at. That's what I'm saying. He's not a guy, brother. Nick Foles will give a fuck. So hold up, bro. He's not it, a guy. This way you still not, it's, it's way you're not getting it. I don't care if I came in with five games left. If I played like the, a guy, nigga, I'm a guy this year. That's all I'm saying. You keep talking about what a nigga did. No, he just won his fucking Super Bowl. That's what the fuck he did. He came and played better than everybody out here. So that was a guy at the moment. Fuck his name. That ain't what I'm saying. Like, you, you, you mixing this shit up. It's like it's not like I'm saying go get a Nick Foles because he going to be a guy. He showed you he could be the guy, though. He just showed you that. What you mean right. what he did? He just showed you he could do it. Every game, you know, he busted. He did his fucking thing. That's some guy shit. Fuck his reputation and all that. If fucking Rex Grossman would have came in the playoffs and played like Nick Foles, what the fuck? He'll be a guy too. You see what I'm saying? But no, he couldn't do that. They had to rely on the defense. The defense could get you there. It can. Yeah. It can get you there. Look at, look at uh, Frisco. They got there with the D. But, you know, they had an all right enough quarterback. I feel like, you know. That was, that Super Bowl came down to the wire, like it could have went. That Super Bowl could have went either way. So that's just going to show you. I'm just saying. But you know what? The, it was, the quarterback of the pack, play was amazing. A middle of the pack quarterback can win it though. Like, yeah, you talking about on some rare shit? Cause they don't win it. I that's mean, what I'm saying. See, 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 see. I ain't gonna lie. See, and they ain't a regular this, one that winning. Brady fucked this era up. It's, it's the guys fucked saying? it up. You it got Brady. If you look at you it, got this Peyton era Manning. got one guy. Fuck. Brady. Yeah, Aaron, them, they got that. Yeah, he won it. The Burger won it. It's just scattered. But one nigga dominated it, if you don't get no credit for making it to the game. One nigga dominated it. Are right, you saying you don't get no credit for making it? I'm trying to explain the point of a defense could damn near carry you to the bowl with your quarterback off and on, having a game here, game there. But the guys who about to win this bitch, right. you know, it's, it's, it's no regular it's dude. Level, see? Yeah. It's level, ain't I, no regular I, I quarterback winning it. I feel what you're saying, but I'm saying, <coughs> I was saying about the Jets, them bitches ain't even competing no more, they brother. Can't, you can't have no Come regular on, you dude. you remember when these people had Curtis Martin, them and shit, man? The Jets, Santana Moss, them. Mm, yeah. Come on, man, the Jets. They been having some Bar- bad Bar- Scott and them, man. Cromartie. Don't got no quarterback. You know, Revers. 
You see what I'm saying? I'm just saying, them bitches ain't even competing no more. Y'all in the Mecca. Y'all in New York, man. Y'all can't even, y'all ain't even competing, man. You gotta get a quarterback, man. man. Them Giants had Eli. He was, he was the bottom of the top tier. Oh, so, so you feel like Jets need the all in Deshaun Watson? Yeah, if you get Deshaun Watson, you're guaranteed to be a, a good team. You're guaranteed to be a good team. I mean, he doesn't need it. But he's taking time off, see? It's time off right now. Well, the game, the speed, time off. He at home. Fuck. He, ain't, he on the bench. He on the fucking sideline right now. he going to be worse or something? I ain't saying that, but fuck, man. Better hope nigga ain't lose a fucking step. You hear me? Man, dude, cold as a motherfucker, man. Shit like riding a bike, man. I ain't going to fuck this bitch up. He come back. You see, Vic, Vic went joust and everything. Yeah. Came back and had his best season ever, 2010. Yeah, like, he was the MVP that year, but they couldn't give it to him fresh out of jail. They had to give it to Tom Brady, but I, he was the MVP that year. Yeah, man, you got to have a quarterback, bro. You know, or you got to have a mixture of the right shit. Like, you know, like you got to have a Sean Payton or a motherfucking Bill Belichick. And these niggas had the quarterbacks, do, but. You got to, you know, you got to have a mixture of the right shit, and that's just going to get you there. But the niggas who win it, it's them quarterbacks, bro. Pat Mahomes, you know, Ben Roethlisberger, when it, Tom, Peyton Manning, Aaron Rodgers, Drew Brees, you know. Um, you, I ain't going to lie, that's a crazy subject with that Nick Foles shit. Because Nick Foles went off. If you're going to judge that man off of... And the crazy part is, he always did good. Wherever he was a quarterback at, he wasn't no nigga who would just, damn, we got to we gotta get Nick Foles out of here. He never was that quarterback. Uh-huh. He, never was, he that. never was like, shit, man, we ain't got a quarterback. You never was that if Nick Foles was starting for you. You never really thought like that because he was always good. He, was he just got moved around. I, you know, I can't remember his exact situations and shit, but... I was all on him in college at yeah, Arizona. Yeah, Nick Foles was good, Nick man. Foles came out good. Top notch. He was, he was, you know, he was doing his thing before as, you know, he ain't on them guys level. I don't think nobody ever said that Nick Foles was the best quarterback. Right. Yeah, yeah. Even like Joe Flacco, bro. <laughs> I don't, I can't tell you the he consensus pick on me. Joe Flacco. See, he said he wasn't good. He wasn't good, good to me. Oh, man, Joe he Flacco. He ran Lewis number shit, and he was just a little bit. He, 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 he was better than Delpha, and he had that fucking defense. This Ray Lewis and Ed Reed and the Terrell Suggs, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's what the Rams got you, now. You'll put him with Nick Foles? This is what the Rams got now. And that's not saying he's That's great, because I probably put Nick Foles and Flacco in the same type of category, but I think both of them niggas cold. I, mean, I feel like I both of them cold. Joe Flacco that took my well, money too you, many you, times. You not like cold. You not cold. cold. Listen. Is, you you not. You, this one you. Right. Listen. This one you not cold. You ain't third, you're not even 35 years old. You done won the Super Bowl within the last eight years, but you don't have a job. You don't have a job. That's, fuck with all that. Right now, you're 32 years old or something with a ring, but you don't have a job. A starting job? Yeah, you don't have a job. You know what I'm saying? You won a few fucking games. That what the fuck I'm saying. Nah. You don't have a job, brother. That you, you ain't that fucking good. Ain't no way, brother. You won the Super you don't Bowl. Have a job yeah, now. You're fuck, not that fuck, good? fucking right. You won the Super Bowl at 27 years old, and now you 32. You ain't get hurt or nothing. No major injury or nothing, and you don't have First a job. All, your numbers nobody way gave off. you. Nobody gave you a 10 year contract or nothing. Ten year contract. Yeah, nobody gave you a fucking deal. You ain't get the deal. 
like nobody gets ten year contract. Why would he get a ten year contract? Quarterbacks do. Nigga Peyton, I mean, what's his name? Um, what's dude's name? Man, Mahomes, Mahomes, the first nigga you ever saw do that. You mean quarterback? I mean, dude. well, why you didn't get your six year deal or nothing? Why you don't have a job? Right you need now. your flag or old as a motherfucker, dog. No, I said Nick Foles. Nick Foles. Nick Foles. That's why I said Nick Foles is not Nick. a guy. That's why I said Nick Foles is not, he not good, brother. You won that bowl, you had that success, and nobody in the NFL threw the, threw the check at Dumb. you and said, come be our franchise quarterback. When they still, you won the bowl, they still chose Wentz over you. And when they chose Wentz over you, nobody said, uh-uh. No, indeed, come over here. No, man. Something wrong with that. Yeah, you got to think about I the situation. I told you, he's 32 you know. years old. He 32 years old. When he won the Super Bowl? Yeah, that was about five years ago. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, what you mean? A man has starting jobs all, you know, since he came in the league. Fuck no, he ain't had no starting jobs. What? What you mean? He was drafted, he was starting. No, he wasn't starting. Man, Nick Foles started plenty of years in the league, man. Man, he never was the fucking guy that the people said, boom, you our quarterback. Nobody made him our quarterback. Nobody said to him, you're, you're our guy. Ever. What you mean? You start what, hey? Look at this. Look at this. this Nobody team. never said, man, you for us. I mean, what you mean? Woo. You get what the fuck I'm saying? Nobody never told this man, you our quarterback. What at? Why are you not doing Why that you when you start quarterback? Why you bouncing? You bouncing? You bouncing? You bouncing? You <coughs> Once you go to bounce, you, you bouncing. You locked up and won the Super Bowl, man. You not good, brother. Yo, but fuck. You 32 years old right now, man, in the prime of your fucking life. You know what You You don't even got a job. Yeah, man. You not even the fucking starter. Like, after you done come won the bowl and, and shined and woo-woo-woo. After that, nobody came and, you know, we had the 2017, yeah. the 2017 Super Bowl. So you mean to tell me he won that Super Bowl at 27 years old? <coughs> 27 years old, he won that Super Bowl. And from, from the age of 27 to right now, the age of 32, Nobody grabbed him to be their quarterback. What that tell you, brother? He so, just he just won the so Super Bowl. Cam Newton shits. Was he was the shits too? Cam Newton proven in this league, fifteen and one record in the regular season, MVP. Yeah, but went it's the same to the thing, Super Bowl. But he ain't not got the a same job. thing. Do, what I'm saying is, Cam, Cam Newton was the guy for ten years, brother. He had the job. The job was in Carolina. Nick Foles never had a job, period. Yeah, but you mean Cam Newton is a Hall of Fame quarterback, brother. He a Hall of Fame quarterback? Yeah, what he put down his resume, he gone Yo, he in the a, Hall. He a Hall of Fame, but for his running ability, he probably Hall of Fame. What he threw for in his rookie year, the, the, rookie with year, the less bro, Rookie year don't get you in no fucking Hall of man, Fame. The, man, that MVP season he had, yeah, nobody no, never had. How you rookie year going to get you mean? in he the won Hall of the, Fame? He won the league MVP. They got niggas in the yeah, NFL. He won, he won league MVP. You know, but what I'm saying is that Nick Foles, nobody grabbed him and said, you are a quarterback. I'm saying he was a star quarterback in Philly, though. For, how? When? What you mean? Before Carson Wentz, he was the star quarterback. Before, he had a stint in Philly. They brought him back. He went. He was in Philly. He went to L.A. Yeah, and I go to show you. Proving my point. If he was the starting quarterback in Philly, you the starting quarterback. We draft a we draft a motherfucker on you. We go get caught. <laughs> we draft a motherfucker on you. We go get caught somewhere. He was Wentz. gone, bro. You, you got to know the whole situation. His story is different. You can't just be blabbering no, out ain't shit. No, ain't no his story different. It ain't is, nobody fucking different. grab him to be the quarterback. You know what I'm saying? So Ryan Fitzpatrick pool too. You ain't never win the job. Fitzpatrick pool. Yeah, when they go to talking about he the guy and shit. Yeah. How? Like, Fitzpatrick is a a bum. He's a nigga that bounced around the league, won a few games. Crazy, Fitzpatrick bro. is a bum. That's what I'm saying. What he is then? You you not understanding he the a business, nigga we my respect nigga. respect betting money with him and woo. You not understand the business, dog. You talking about an older quarterback. You talking about when you 29, 30 and shit, 
Nobody really giving you the money when you ain't had no fire situation yet. But you can play. What you mean? Why would somebody give you a fire? Who gonna believe in you like that? Coaches in and out the fucking league. Where you where you land in that? Why would these people give you a look or whatever? He was a, in, a, a, a contract like that. He was that? in Philly in 2012, though. He wasn't the starter, brother. He was in Philly in 2012. I got to go yeah, pull up that bro. team. He was in 2012. 2015, he was, he was in the Rams. You know he wasn't starting. KC in 16, when Ali Smith was there, you know he wasn't starting. He went back to them people, though. Nobody didn't want you. Then you went to Jacksonville. Now you in the Bears, man. Like, look at that nigga career. Like, yeah, he I'm won saying, that Super Bowl, but I'm ain't nobody his want him, brother. It's different. Ain't nobody want him. Hurt. Ain't nobody want him, see? How when you started for all these teams, my nigga? Started for who? He didn't start for nobody. So but he started for Philly? That's it. He started for L.A.? Fuck no. What you mean? St. Louis Rams? He didn't start for them? Fuck no, man. Well, how you play? How you got all these yards and shit from him, though? All what yards from? He got 2,000 yards for uh, L.A. in 2015. Yeah, he got in the game. He got he plays uh, some games, but he wasn't either the starting quarterback. Either he started or they brought him in. They, they traded for him he after went, he started. Except for Philly, they, they brought him in. He never was. But do you know why they brought him in, D? Listen, what I'm telling you, brother. They could have brought the man in because their quarterback was gone and made a trade for another quarterback. That's what I'm saying. That mean niggas want you, and you know you're a starting quarterback in this league. You just getting moved around. Oh, yeah. The man, the man situation I, 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 different. A cold nigga ain't getting moved around. Like he never started for nobody. He didn't start for the Rams. But he didn't he start for Philly. But man threw twenty seven touchdowns, two intercepts. Dog, the man did his what in two thousand twelve, two thousand thirteen. All right, yeah. He started the year before. No, well, he came in the year before that. He took a nigga job the, his rookie year. All right, two thousand fifteen. We sing y'all. You don't start in St. Louis. You played some games. You did, you wasn't the starting quarterback well, in St. Louis. he finished the season. Oh, he got hurt. One of the two, he threw for 2,000 yards. Then after that, no. That's half the season. I'm just saying, nobody called you to come be the starting quarterback. The starter. That's what I'm saying. Nobody called on Nick Foles to come be the starter for them. Real talk, though, brother. You know, he went off for the playoffs, dog. He, he ain't good, brother. Jacksonville did, he too. all in his prime. Nobody ain't called him, brother. He ain't look good, brother. He ain't look good. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you was watching him. I don't think you know what you're talking about. I mean, you ain't good, brother. You won the Super Bowl at 27 years old, and nobody throw no money at you. Don't that fucking tell you. You, you had a magical playoff run. Yo, in the man, prime of your career, man, and nobody contract, nobody snatched you. How you still on the contract? You got shuffled. Nobody made the move for you. You went to the Rams, a team who already had a quarterback. You went to the Chiefs, a team who already had a quarterback. You went Rams back to had. Philly to be their backup. You went back to Philly to be the backup. And come on, Jacksonville and the Bears. I'm just saying, brother. What the fuck did yeah, he do? Jacksonville called what? him in to be the starter. He got hurt. What I'm saying. All right, that's the different. only team. That's the only team yeah, right man, there. Philly. What you mean? Philly, they drafted the man, and he started a couple years. Did his thing. He didn't start in 2012. I'm 2013 saying. is when you Pat see. Pat Mahomes ain't started his rookie year neither. Yeah, Adam Smith, he a started. Pro Bowl quarterback. You can't compare that. That's a Pro Bowl quarterback they had over there You're already. Right. How you don't get the comparison? What it's you talking about? It's not a comparison. About? You can't compare How? that. Mahomes just, didn't start. The, the you comparison, can't compare that. The comparison is a rookie quarterback. Not immediately starting. D. Not yeah. whoever was in the front of him. When that, Duh, nigga. M- man, these for whatever court, reason. Patrick Mahomes is the Justin only. Justin Fields ain't start. He ain't had no fucking Alex Smith in front of him. Yeah. Do you not get that comparison? Justin Fields was questionable, brother. I don't get that. I don't get that. Mean man, all he been. Uh, man, look. The, the fucking elite. You know what I'm saying? Do every rookie quarterback start, D? That's the comparison, my nigga. Damn. Fucking right. The good ones. What you mean, bro? Tom, you just you just had a story about Tom Brady, my nigga. What you talking about? I mean, you just want to hear yourself talk? How? What the fuck you mean? How? You hear what you saying? He ain't do nothing, <laughs> brother. Nick Foles. <laughs> what the Pern fuck? Per period, brother. He, nigga didn't bring him in I for nothing. I feel you. Know? I just say the man situation. Some people ain't landing in good situations. 
He landed and in the moving perfect around. situation. I'm pretty sure we could think about NBA players too who be moving around because the fit ain't right shit. And it start early for him. That's making an excuse for a nigga, man. The fit ain't right for him. Yeah. Man, you won the Super Bowl at 27, and ain't nobody bring you in to be the man for them. And you ain't, you because you wasn't good like that. You did your thing. That yeah. might be a true statement. You wasn't good like that. But I feel like he was. He, he couldn't just, have been. Yeah, there's nobody ain't going ain't gonna to throw no bag out there because of your situations. You've been moving around and shit. <coughs> but he showed you when he got that boat. <coughs> and, he, and look at the situation here. Y'all just gave a nigga, y'all got belief in this young boy. It's a tough situation. Look at Joe Burrow. He barely made it out. You see what I'm saying? Just on a college situation. That, he barely made it out. Nigga had to do this, do that, do that to show he cold. This man woo, 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 went one a bowl, got an opportunity. Well, really, they ain't even get the opportunity. He, already, he, he had it over his back the next year because Carson Wentz came back middle of the year. And we had to put you put the man back in. Like, what the fuck he supposed to do now? Y'all, y'all want the younger dude to shine. Right. We both could have got the job done. Carson Wentz ain't look good ever since. You know, he ain't even look good after that at all. He ain't look good after that. And but it fucked up both of their career, maybe. Carson Wentz injury and Nick Foles. All that got lost in the shuffle. And I feel like his damn career is like that situation. But look, what I'm saying is I feel like, you know, in the right situation, they play the right opponent, shit like that. I feel like Kirk Cousins could be Nick Foles if he get hot. Yes. In the playoffs. But just look at the difference. You're going to feel like, look, because Minnesota gave Kirk Cousins the money. Somebody believed they in him. gave him the money. Somebody could have did that with Nick Foles. His situation just wasn't right. I feel like somebody could have did that. I think he proved he he had potential to be a good quarterback in this league. Just ain't, you know, ain't come through with it. But I don't want to talk about Nick Foles all the fucking night. Yeah, look. <laughs> Try to prove Nick Foles to the, to the, to the, to the fucking to the, uh, to the fucking Saints, man. Saints, man. Yeah, bro. I told you out of here. A man don't want to play, brother. Yeah, but that's what it's looking like. A man ain't want to play, but I told you, woo. You heard me? He prolonged the surgery. He woo, 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 so he could be right on time. Yeah. Damn, bro. I, don't, I just don't understand the situation. It looked like, you know, he don't want to play. What's crazy, we could win the ball with the team we got. Yeah, I mean, is it is it really gonna be worth it if we fucking really do our thing? And you sitting on that side, like I don't know what could be the what could be your purpose and not wanting to play for these people no more. Right. Nah. Like I don't know. I can't get it. You know what really hurt. I just damn. It's hard to believe that you just don't want to play for the organization. What? But you're going to miss out on playing. You, you fucking with your records. You fucking with your legacy. I mean, I mean, let's think about it. It's, it's, it's Ken, Ken Mike, right? He's going to live on what he did before. The day he comes back. Right. He ain't got to prove nothing. No. I'm just all saying, the, at the end of the day, is, though, when, it, when, when, when he your career over, you going to want to play. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Yeah, that don't make sense. The only thing that makes Unless sense the man is the man is really hurt. It's something emotional or the man really hurt. That's the only thing that can make sense. Like, fuck, he really, this shit really ain't right. Not playing and not play. I can see you missing the first. Yeah, I'm gonna show them bitches. Just Fuck know. that. I'm gonna come back though. Damn it, Winston ain't Drew Brees. They don't have the same chemistry from quarterback to receiver that they were able to develop over that over that amount of time that they so they had to get. Damn it, Winston coming in with all brand new receivers to create all new relationships. You know, ain't no guarantee Mike falls into that, especially if both of them is arrogant. Yeah, it's a situation. Super mentality. Still clutch. So we got Winston out for the season, man. Torn ACL. Uh, what you think about Trevor Simeon? I don't know what to think about. I mean, he played a good game that game. You know, came in and was poised and, you know, missed a few. But I say they, they after a week, and they getting getting your tendencies right quick. It's gonna be a little harder. It's gonna be him and hell. I fuck with. I fuck, I want to taste him. I you know I rather do this motherfucking running quarterback shit. Right. Sean Payton with some good old plays. Play defense. <clears throat> you gotta run two quarterback system just to keep Taysom healthy, bro. I don't think I think Taysom get hurt if he fully start. I'm playing him and I'm playing I'm him saying, and Simeon. That's what we got to do. Yeah, I'm Fuck playing that. the two-quarterback system. Uh-uh. I'm playing Taysom. If Taysom, if me, when Taysom clearly better than Simeon, he more of a threat. Not you know? throwing the ball from the pocket. You can see that right now. No, I'm talking about, man, look, I've been watching dudes in Northwestern. As far as getting the plays, the playbook, sitting in these pockets, making these reads, Fuck no, man. Chase Mill can't fuck with that dude, man. Making reads and shit. Dude is a natural pocket quarterback, brother. The, the nigga Simmy. But, you know, I'm telling you what they're going to do, brother. They running it the same way. You don't know who about to run out trying to need the center. And that's the and that's good, too. See, that's why I said we got a great defense, and you can't prepare for our offense right now. That's what we got on our side, though. That's true. We got high shit for the playoffs. We ain't got to show motherfuckers what we really can do. We don't even got to show that. we. Could. Yeah, boy, like, we, we dangerous. And, um, that's true, Saint. That is true. But, uh, what I'm about to see? This Aaron Rodgers shit, bro. Oh, man. This man called COVID. And, you know, was looking at the shit with J. Will and Stephen A. and them. And, you know, I had to think about it, too. It's like I haven't been checking on the, the TV shit since the Aaron Rodgers shit broke out, but I caught it today. Right. And it's like, damn, this man, they, they saying Aaron Rodgers pretty much just lied. lied. Like he <laughs> was, had got vaccinated. Right. Woody woo And now they found out. He wasn't vaccinated, which was true to, I mean, it was different because they said his teammates knew he wasn't vaccinated, but we didn't know. You know what I'm saying? The me, you know, the media, the fans, we didn't know he wasn't vaccinated by something he said earlier about vaccinations or something. So we assume he was vaccinated. All right. Here he catch COVID, whatever, and now we find out he's not vaccinated. Woody, woody, woo. Nah. It was comparing it to the Kyrie shit. Kyrie up front telling you he ain't vaccinated. Just because the state he's employed in, he can't play in home games and nothing like that. But if you was employed in D.C. like Bradley Bill, their rules are different. He can play. He's unvaccinated. He can play in every arena because that's just – what it is. You can go somewhere else and play, but as long as your hometown is not ruling it out, you good. So they attacking Kyrie and this man up front. And they 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 messing with this man because he's a human being and wavering and and not sure a, about Stephen the vaccine. Made me mad when he's like, you know, Aaron Rodgers and is this 
and Kyrie is an activist and all this here. You know, like, I don't know, bro. I mean, the point is, it, was, it wasn't no real backlash. It's like, he, he, ha, ha, Aaron Rodgers said he was vaccinated, but he ain't. When y'all, <laughs> y'all tan down Kyrie, this shit, he retarded and right. stupid and selfish and all these reasons on why you should be vaccinated and all this and you should lose all your money. And... Y'all taking this Aaron Rodgers like it's a, all right, yeah, so what? Woody woo. It ain't that bad. He ain't vaccinated. He playing every week, dude. Y'all just isolating Kyrie and tearing this man up because he got prior history on being mentally challenged in whatever way, you know, and missing time in basketball. You know, that's fucked up. Like, you know right. what I'm saying? It's really fucked up. And it's like, it's, once you realize that, I'm gonna keep using Bradley Bill. Bradley Bill's not vaccinated. He plays in the NBA and he can play in all the games. Kyrie's not vaccinated. He plays in the NBA and he had he's forced to sit out half the game, so his team is telling him sit out everything right. because they don't want. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. What kind of games we playing? Like, dog, oh, this shit bad, brother. That's bad, dog. I ain't lying, dog. That's really bad, dog. That's bad, bro. What type of games we playing, bro? This like, whole pandemic thing just fucked up, really, mm -hmm. though. But, yeah, that's kind of fucked up with this shit. But Jay Will, Jay Will explain that shit nice and right to mm -hmm. Steve and A, bro. Because, you know, Steve and A just, he hit him with that shit. He like, man, you was you was all hype and shit talking about Kyrie. woo de woo de woo with this young black man. Trying to explain himself, he's not no perfect journalist or nothing. Right. So he didn't have his words together on what he really was trying to say. So we looked at it like he all over the place. Which he's a human being. Like mm -hmm. you come with uh, Aaron Rodgers. Oh, that's my guy. But he lied. You know, he hit it with that. It's like it's not really what you say all the time. It's how you say yeah. it too. Right. You with this soft ass shit. When Aaron Rodgers did something, but you all hype and all that about Kyrie. Kyrie right. And he was being truthful, honest, and being a human being, not knowing what he really want to do with this vaccine shit. Like, he's just some such right. some stupid-ass person. So everybody knows somebody just caught a siege off the vaccine like, right after they, after they took the shot. Like, the next day, bro, you don't know what that's going to do to your body. How, you, how could you get the mad with a person that, that's, you know... Yeah, but I open my eyes on the media and shit some more. Some more, you taking your I personal. I think I'd be making them do that, play them certain roles, I bro. You say to be making them, because I heard Charles Ball, a lot of people, a lot of people, it's like, you know, you get the vaccine not for yourself, for other people and all that, and woo dee woo Man, come on, man. Like, come on, bro. That's, this is, that's why medical records are private. Like, you know, it's I mean, it's different opinions, different thoughts, it's different everything about it, you know. But damn, he was going to be messing over the man, talking crazy, but more the man behind his personal beliefs. You know, everybody ain't the same, man. Uh-uh, bro. And every individual entitled to do what they want to do with their body, dog. Um, what? Let me see, bro. Speaking of Aaron yeah. Rodgers, he ain't playing Sunday. He's not playing Sunday. COVID. COVID. COVID, COVID. But we're going we gonna to go ahead and give some picks for this NFL next week. With, um, with let y'all know shit, Indiana beat uh, the Jets tonight, 45 30. <laughs> the quarterback who threw for 400 his first game got hurt after his first drive, or well, his second drive when he scored the touchdown, didn't come back in. But um, you dig? You gonna give some picks? Let y'all know Dallas. Dallas won a tough game without Dak in Minnesota. That that, that, was, that, that was crucial. You, know, you to liked me. in Minnesota with the yeah. without him. I was scared. That's, that was KC crucial. won an ugly game against the Giants too on Monday night. But we gonna go with our picks, man. I looked over my shit earlier. I had 
I had something in mind, bro, that I, I had put together. All right. Yeah. My first pick, bro. Coming off a of bye. You feel me? It got great coaching over there. My boy Harbaugh, Baltimore, coming off a of bye against your people, Minnesota. Tough Minnesota team who it's going to be a tough game, but I think coming off a of bye with Lamar and the defense being a little bit prepared, Baltimore giving up six. I like Baltimore at home against Minnesota. Come back. It's just bad nice and right. They've been winning games, coming back, coming back, coming back. I think they're going to have a good game off this uh, bye week. You know, might start off a tad bit slow and get it going. That's one of my picks, Baltimore. I'm going back to one of my last week picks, though. I'm feeling New England, bro. Mm. I'm feeling New England, bro. I New like England. the other week. New England. I like New England, bro. On the road again. They giving up three and a half. <sighs> Christian McCaffrey possibly could return this week. Could help him out. He, I think he went to practice to do something. But uh, that line started out basically a picket. New England not giving up three and a half. You know, Mac Jones, then Bill Belichick. I feel like Sam Donald come out that division with Bill. I think Bill going to have something ready for him. And New England, I'm, I like New England giving up the three and a half in a tough little scoring game. New England, um, New England and Baltimore is my pick. Baltimore giving up the six. New England giving up the three and a half. You dig? Shit, um, my dog Derrick Henry brought hurt too, man. That would have been a game of the week. That Sunday night game, Tennessee against the Rams. Um, Who you I, got, D? I like uh, tough week, brother. Tough week, um, but uh, I got KC for sure. I'm stuck with him every week. Green Bay, no Aaron Rodgers. Giving up the seven and a half. I feel like they, they scored their 30 this week. Yeah, yeah. I, I like that bet. I feel like KC scored their 30 points this week, brother. Like they 45 points. They're going to come out there this week, brother. And uh, this, this is something wrong with the line pick. My out the box mm -hmm. pick. I got Frisco beating Arizona just off the line, just because of the line. No football shit. I'm factoring in or nothing. The line. <laughs> yeah, you know I man. The line. That's it. What the fuck the Cardinals doing? Just getting these people one and a half points, brother. Shit, the Cardinals the underdog. Oh, one yeah, the Cardinals is the fucking underdog, the Frisco. That's my two, Frisco and Kansas City. I like I like that. I like that bet because of the line, though. Frisco giving up one and a half. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why, brother? You know, tough division game. They feel like Frisco going to beat them for whatever reason. Kyle, you know what? Kyler Murray didn't practice none this week, neither. Going against both of them, and he gonna, and I think they gonna play him. So I like Frisco in a low scoring game. Good for the six. I might take the under in that game too. You dig? But um, <clears throat> no, we got nothing crazy. We touched on any NBA. Shit, uh, just we ain't got long at all. We got like a minute. We gotta give you two college picks before we out. You understand? Know NBA, what the fuck going on in the NBA? Alabama, real, real quick. Don't get mad at me, LSU fans. Get a 28. Blowout. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> they going to run the score up on us. Them people don't play with us. They going to run the score up. Arkansas over Mississippi State at home. Minus the four. Arkansas, you know, started off hot, 
Then they ran into a few powerhouses, got beat kind of bad. I feel like they bounced back this week at home against Mississippi State, laying the folk. Got a good defense. Mississippi State don't got no defense. They all offense. So I see. That's a, that's a, that's a solid SEC matchup. Yeah, yeah, that's a solid SEC pick. Arkansas at home. Chat. There we go with it. And get y'all picks, man. Smoke and sports. We're going to wrap it up. We're going to wrap it yeah, up. We, all, we see y'all next week. See y'all next week. Playoffs, baby. Offs. Oh.